Hello, it's me again. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the uh, the DeepStream ResNet 10 Cafe model against the Transfer Learning Toolkit ResNet 10 uh, model. And uh, I've been trying to see if I can get them to perform the same because the DeepStream model isn't trainable but the transfer learning toolkit model is trainable. So what we have here is on the left here I've got a uh, two files. Hold on. I've got one set up for the, the deep stream which is the default that loads in there and I've got the other one set up that was trained on the transfer learning toolkit. Now this one is the default deep stream as you can see everything's the same the ResNet 10 cafe model the Protex this is the engine that it's using uh, the labels and other than that this is um, you know we're running uh, F FP 16 mode so this is the default um, uh, deep stream model and we're gonna run it So it's it's running pretty good. It's running about 30 frames a second. Let's see, we're running 33 frames a second for four frames. That's pretty good. That's what we expect from it. You know, that's that's the kind of the target I've been trying to get out of the transfer learning toolkit. And it's it's seeing it picking everything up. You know, so it's it's running like it should. We're gonna close that out. And like I say, this is just the, the default. Um, uh, config file and then uh, the, uh, the, the the text file these are all defaults and now here's the uh, the transfer learning toolkit um, how this one is is I've got another folder that it's looking into and on here for the config file all I need is the engine built by the uh, the TLT converter and then the label text file and what it is is a batch size of four a network node of one which is in eight and then other than that it's basically the same as the default um, deep stream uh, configuration nano file and then over here, what we've done is the only thing that's different over here for the the TLT tech uh, the the text file is um, down here where we're looking for the engine right here. I I use the we're looking at the ResNet 10 detector TRT, so that's what we're looking at for on this one. So let's get this one running starts off a little differently um, see and, and this this is running actually it's running like 30 frames a second so it's it's you know and this is I, I sure with more tweaking you probably get it uh, get the same results I mean the results are, are so close that you know it's it's it's, it's there's no really difference um, like you say, you could probably tweak on it some more on the transfer learning toolkit and really get the performance out of it. Um, you see, it's picking up the cars, the people, it's person there, so it's it's working just fine. Uh, let's see. Stop that. Then uh, I'll show you kind of what the files are like. By the way, I'm being seed into the, the nano, so it might be a little choppy. See, in the model files, there's I've got two folders. This is the 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 default primary detector nano. And it has everything. It has the Protex file, the engine, cafe model, the labels. And this is the uh, TLT uh, folder. And all it has is it has the engine built by the 
the TLT converter, and the labels. So that's all this one has. Um, so pretty much it, it works pretty good. Come on. So here's the, the TLT uh, Jupyter Notebook file. I had some problems with the, the key. I mean, it was it was a booger. I mean, I the key kind of threw me off for a while. So, and then uh, basically, it's just the Kitty data set. Nah, nothing special about it. Um, I followed all the instructions. I uh, I downloaded the ResNet the pre-trained ResNet 10 model, the TLT ResNet 10 DetectNet DetectNet V2 model. Um, there's another uh, ResNet 10 model that's in the uh, uh, NCG uh, cloud thing, and I was going to try that one out, but this one seems to work. And then uh, here I, I've been testing the key as I go along. Um, the I had to modify the 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 train and retrain file. Um, to uh, do ResNet Kitty, like up here, I basically took the ResNet 18 one and modified it to point at the uh, the the ResNet 10 model. Uh, everything else, I re I replaced this as ResNet 10. I had to take all the ResNet 18, change them all to 10. Um, and here's where I pruned it. I this is where I got the results. I did 0 0.01. That's what they recommend. But you know, if you tweak on this, you can probably get it to run even better. Um, and then let's see. Like I say, a lot of places I changed the ResNet everything from ResNet 18 to ResNet 10, uh, and everything is pretty much the same as it as before. When I deployed it, here, here's another issue I had is I had to change the, here the key. This used to say uh, it was a double dash, then uh, encode, uh, key encode. I replaced that just to say dash K key. And then I changed these to ResNet 10. ResNet 10, they were ResNet 18. Now let's see. Here, change this to ResNet 10. I'm testing my key. I want to make sure the key was going through the, uh, the 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 notebook. And right here, I had to change this also. This used to say encode key. I got rid of it uh, because when I tried to export this and run the TLT converter in the Nano, it, it, it kept hanging up on the key. So, you know, I changed this to, to the, to the, what you say in code key, and I changed it, and this seems to work out. Everything else is pretty much default, except I change these from 18 to 10. And then, uh, uh, I ran this on the Nano, and it produced the, uh, the, uh, this file, and like I say, I just, put it in there I mean I didn't I didn't do it the other way where you put the uh, the, the the bin file and the TLT file and all that it was much easier to have the nano produce the engine and just shove the engine in there it works as you can see it works just fine so um, that's about it but like I say here is the uh, ResNet 10 detector.trt that was produced by the uh, uh, DetectNet uh, sample in the TL Transfer Learning Toolkit uh, notebook. So it's running good. You see there's that. Watch, it'll see the bicycle. The guy will come by with a bicycle. See? It sees the bicycle. So... That's pretty good. Sees the cars. It's running. Let's see. 30 frames a second. So it, it meets its 
uh, I'm pleased with it. Now I have something that I can retrain to my data set. And this is this is what I was wanting to get to. So, all right, uh, that's about it. So I'll uh, uh, guys have at it. So bye.